Howdy folks and welcome to the channel. My name is Danny and I'm a musician from Sweden. The band I sing in is called Escobar. If anyone's interested, go check it out. Today I have a very special guest, which is my beautiful <laughs> wife, Sandy. And she's right here. Yeah. That's her. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we have reacted to Baby Metal before uh, together. And we have both enjoyed it a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? So, uh, today we have been suggested to check out Baby Metal's track Ine. It's not Line, it's actually two eyes. Oh, it's, I, I, I thought it was Line. So yeah, it's no, it's, Ine. it's yeah. Ine. And it says it's from Live Legend 1997, Sue Metal Satan Sai. So I guess it's the same concert that we've seen. Exactly. It's her 16th birthday. Exactly, the day before actually. birthday bash. Exactly. Yeah. Hell of a bash, hell of a bash. Hell of a bash. So, yeah, so, uh, but someone said, you know, because my wife is a DJ and I am not, which doesn't matter, uh, she could uh, possibly enjoy this because there's some, I don't know, I guess, DJ-like music in it. Oh, cool. Let's see what happens. Yes. Let's rock and roll. This is like Euro Disco, it's kind of like E-Type and uh, what's it called, yeah, Fisher Scooter. Scooter, yeah, yeah, Hada Fasta Skota. Yes, and Fish. How much is the fish? I haven't heard that one, but I heard Ein, Zwei, Polizei. Yes, How Much Is The Fish is an amazing song. Nice. We uh, had a little bit of... How much is the fish? I don't know how much it is. Uh, <laughs> we had a little uh, technical difficulty earlier with the sound, so if we do any twitching and snitching and bridging and quitching with the sound, that's just what's happening. Yeah. I saw Sue Metal scream or something there. But I didn't hear it. No, I heard... No. Okay, so then, then it's probably okay. I think it's... Yeah, so I, I think she just... Because I saw it too, that she was kind of like screaming, but I was like, I can't hear anything. So I think it was just a silent scream, maybe. Maybe or just maybe it's just in some something with the sound. Yep. Here or there. But anyway, let's keep by moving. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, Do you know what it means? No, I maybe someone told me. I don't think they told me. Maybe they did, but it's a lot of information mm. uh, from the uh, Babe Mel fans, yeah, which yeah. I really appreciate. But I don't remember that. But this is really cool, and it's really kind of like um, trance, your disco uh, rave. Uh. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. I think I heard some growling in the background. Oh, cool. Um, but that was just a little yeah. bit. Let's keep... Do you think maybe Ina means smile or something? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, baby. I don't know. Well, that was definitely Ina by Baby Battle. What did you <laughs> think about that one? It sure was something. No, it was it was um, really a mixture of, of uh, genres. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Which ones like, so you think? I about? mean, the, the metal rock thingy that they... I didn't hear much of that, No, but honest. some, I mean, the growling yeah, yeah, in yeah. the beginning. Yeah, so, sure, I, I mean, agree. Now you asked what kind of, you know, so that was one of them. So. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the <laughs> kind of like you're a disco, I mean, like all the kind of like 90 trans. Um, exactly. Like Scooter and the E-type Swedish uh, artist and yeah. like uh, all, all of them. Uh, yeah. Very much scooter. Uh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so too. And Blümchen. Blümchen. Yeah, of yeah. course. I love Blümchen. Oh, it's my talk. Yes. Yeah. Sure is. Mm. And, and then, and then, kind of like more. Uh, yeah, it's Schlager in in Sh 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 Swedish. Swedish. 
uh, and uh, but kind of like yeah, Eurovision Song Contest uh, thingy. Yeah, but older. Yeah. Yeah. I was I, I thought about Karola, a Swedish singer as well. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I haven't heard too much of her, so. No. But maybe. But I mean, like all of those, kind of like a few years ago, because uh, now in like in the Swedish contest, uh, it sounds like you know. In the Eurovision Song Contest, you mean? No, in this in the Swedish contest. Yeah. There's a Swedish like melody. Like the the song. Yeah, I'm just trying to explain what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In, in the Swedish contest, uh, nowadays the music kind of sounds like any pop song. Yeah, exactly. You know, not, nothing special, but it used to be really kind of like like this. Yeah. Schlager. Yeah. It's called Schlager in in German as well. Germany. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Schlager, Deutsche Schlager. All right. Uh, any anywho, anyhow. Really like um, energetic and happy and and fun and uh, yeah, great. Yeah, and now for my opinion. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Babe Mel fans, you know I really have fun uh, talking to you all in the comment section. Um, and you have explained that this was, I think you said that this was like. I don't know if it was the first track on the concert, but early. So this was like, you know, a symbol of going from this ah, to, to the, the more... darker. Yeah, exactly. Ah, to the metal thing. Of course. So this is, is why it's not thing? the band either. It's the baby bones just pretending to play here. So it's... it's oh. Yeah. So, so... Yeah, because then when they kind of like crucified her later... And exactly. She that's like, the final transformation. Mm, to the darker side. So... If you guess, what, do you think I think this was their best or their worst <laughs> so far? Yeah, don't kill me in the comments, but this was their worst in my opinion. Remember, I'm just one person, one opinion. It does not make your music taste any less valuable or true for you. But to me, this was the worst. Um, yeah, this was not for me. I, I mean... Because I just have to be honest, if this came on the radio, I mean, I would listen to it. You know, it's just, that's just the reality of it. Mm. It was fun, they were happy and they're great at performing, of course, as always. I mean, I love their performances, but the music wasn't for me. That's my honest opinion, sad as it may seem. <laughs> let's move on to brighter days. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, but I mean, and then, I mean, for from my point of view, um, being like a, a DJ that that mostly plays on, on parties and stuff and not not clubs anymore but yeah. but like uh, weddings and and parties I mean this is I mean usually you play songs that people recognize so I maybe I wouldn't play this because most people in in Sweden might not have heard it but it's the kind of song that I would definitely play Ah. At the dance floor, yeah, because it makes people happy and it makes people dance. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And yeah. that's kind of like, from my point of view, when what I'm working, what you're looking for, yeah, yeah, that's the most important thing. Yeah. So it's like, so all the, those like old trans uh, stuff, like I mean, that's things that I still play. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, that's what people because like. Because that, that's what people want to party to and dance to. So, so I think, I mean. Um, I definitely understand why this is a hit, or was a hit yeah, yeah, at the of time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because, you know, sometimes making people happy is the most important thing. I don't know what she means, <laughs> obviously, because then I would have said, <laughs> It's the best thing ever! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No, all right, cool. Uh, so, yes, so get your down votes ready. But remember, 50% of us really like this. So, so you can hit the, the, the thumb up. Thumb up for her, thumb down for me. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Sayonara. Bye. <laughs>